Hello and welcome friends, my name is Frenzy, here bringing you some more Kerbal Space Program mod overview. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at a very old, but a very, very good mod part pack, and that is Nova Punch. I think Nova Punch has been around, I want to say since the beginning almost of Kerbal Space Program, or at least since the beginning of when mods started to become, I guess, kind of a thing. It's a really good one. I think it's just kind of a classic. It has a lot of cool parts as you kind of see me just kind of going through here. You know, just looking at some of the things you can do with it. Uh, I guess the best way I could kind of simulate this is just to, or to show you this mod is really just to basically build a couple of rockets. Um, you can see here I have the Freya command pod at the top here, which is a 3.75 meter command pod. So it gives you a lot of different functionality, a lot of things you can do differently because of that. Which I think is pretty cool. I think it holds something like nine Kerbals. It's it's pretty ridiculous, but it's a very good mod pack. One you should definitely kind of check out. Particularly, I think if you're just kind of getting used to maybe introducing mods into your game, it has a lot of functionality, a lot of different parts, and you won't get to see them all here because I think, at least for me, like part of the fun is just kind of getting a mod and then kind of going and sifting through all the parts. But I thought I would show you here. A wonderful launch and uh, you can see it's kind of an American style uh, launch in some sense but also <laughs> I have the Soyuz uh, kind of strap-on boosters that's part of this pack right there on the sides and those are really cool looking uh, kind of a fun thing you can kind of do there but uh, we're just gonna have a little bit of fun with this this rocket just take it into orbit maybe bring it back through and you know, we have deadly re-entry so we can kind of see how this thing holds up um, for the most part this is all part packs are all parts from the pack of Nova Punch. I think I may have a couple of um, uh, parts from uh, the procedural parts. So just heads up on that. But you can see these really cool engines as they separate here. And we move along to these pretty cool engines. Kind of like a tri coupled, I guess, kind of looking thing. They come like that, and I think they look pretty cool. You don't see a lot of engines that are kind of like that. And now we're kind of separating our command pod, and they have the cool four engines there. <laughs> You see, I have the solar panels deployed for this because I actually think that I quick saved and I was just coming in too fast and my parachutes kept getting burnt up. So I thought, why not use the, uh, or have the, the solar panels deployed? Maybe that with FAR, you know, that may create some additional drag, hopefully slow me down a little bit. Lo and behold, it worked. So a little bit kind of on the fly ingenuity. Uh, as you see me here, just coming in, deploying parachutes. This thing has a lot of torque. Um, it also has, um, you know, it's, it's pretty heavy, so it's got a lot of weight, a lot of mass to it, so not surprisingly, you'll definitely need some good parachutes. Fortunately, it's pretty sturdy, too. <laughs> As you see here, I hit the ground, and I kind of just roll about down on the ground, just kind of rolling around here, having a good time, but it's able to survive, and now we're kind of having a little bit of fun here with some other parts in the Nova Punch pack, which is the N1-style rocket parts. Um... Very cool. If you're not familiar with the N1 rocket, it was kind of the you know the Russians or the Soviets at that time um, attempt to kind of get to the moon. So they had the N1 rocket, which I believe had over what 30 engines um, on the bottom there. Not quite so many in this, uh, which probably caused some issues <laughs> if you did have 30 engines on the bottom there. But a very cool pack because it really kind of just you know lets you do some cool things here. Uh, you know, with that kind of N1 style rocket, bigger rockets. There's a lot of larger parts too, so if you like big, big, big rocket parts, it's definitely, uh, definitely a way to go. Um, so I'm just kind of having some fun here. I think I'll go land on the moon and kind of see what we can do with that. But if you, if you're not uh, aware, we actually have an official date for Kerbal Space Program. They said yesterday, yesterday was seven days. Today it's six days, so it's coming out next Monday. I am. So excited! Uh, I really can't wait to just kind of jump in and test out all the really cool features. Yeah, I think I'm going to do kind of a mini-series, I want to say, for 1.0. Um, I may have mentioned that before, but I don't even know if I want to call it a series necessarily, because it's basically going to be just me kind of having some fun in 1.0. And I'll probably do a career mode, because I want to see what uh, features or what they've done differently as far as the, the tech tree goes. So I'm excited for that. <clears throat> I also want to go ahead and... Maybe take a look at some of the other things you can kind of do with it, you know, such as, you know, aerodynamics. I really want to test out, and this will be one of the big things I do. I'm going to have just a whole episode devoted solely to kind of looking at what the, you know, uh, re-entry effects are going to be like. Because that is huge, like a really huge part of it. And, uh, oh wow, that is <laughs> that is actually a really pretty shot in the background of uh, Kerbin. So, kind of, a, kind of a nice shot there as we just kind of come in for a touchdown. 
So again, I'm looking forward to 1.0. Hopefully you guys are too. That's kind of why I'm just doing these mod overview videos kind of strong. Uh, I know mods are going to updated. Some will probably be left behind for 1.0 perhaps. It'll be interesting to see what happens with, you know, far and near. Will they be necessary? Or will they kind of become a thing of the past? So it'll be, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Um, I'm pretty excited though, nonetheless, to see all the parts, all the new things they decide to do, just a lot of little things it seems like they're doing, which I think will make a big difference too. And we're coming in here to Kerbin, and we'll just kind of have some fun with it, see if I can survive <laughs> kind of the atmosphere here. Um, I'm just kind of slowing myself down a little bit as when you come back from the moon like this, and this is where like the new re-entry stuff is going to be, you know, a lot of testing because you're going to be coming in a lot faster when you return from the moon, more than likely. So you have to think, you know, am I going to need retro rockets? Am I going to need something to slow me down? You know, will I need drogue shoots? Like what am I going to need to do to kind of, you know, make sure I get there safely? So a lot of fun things we'll find out. But in the meantime, having some fun with Nova Punch here, definitely go check it out. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and tap that like button. I would really appreciate it. And I would love to have you a subscriber too if you want to see some more videos. And go tell your friends so we can build a little bit of a community here. I'd love to have them aboard too. And finally, I always want to hear your comments, your suggestions, anything you guys want to say. Feel free to do so in the, the suggestion comment area down below. And I'll see you next time.